So you can see I started installing my fender flares here. They're not permanently installed yet. I've drilled all the holes, put the nut certs in the holes, but I haven't clamped the nut certs down. You can see if you guys aren't familiar with the nut cert tool, it looks like a regular rivet gun, but you actually push in these little nut certs and they're really handy when you can't get to the back side. You can just put a nut cert in the hole, crimp it down, and then you've got a permanent fixture to attach your hardware to. So the rod I'm doing right now, I've mocked up the flare, and now I'm trying to do my plastic liner on the inside that I had mentioned before. What you do is you get it kind of roughed in with pizza box. You put the pizza box in there, kind of piece it up, and then you cut the permanent piece out of a nice roll of high density polyethylene. I'll show you a little closer. So you can see here, I've got the pizza box, and you can just tape sections in, you know, you can make mistakes and just kind of form fit it in there. And then once it's all kind of roughed in, you cut the final piece out of the high density polyethylene. So as you're mocking up your template for your underbody cladding here, what you want to do is every time you get a piece kind of installed in the right area, you want to go ahead and reach underneath and drill your hole that's going to mount it. So what you can do, get everything in position. Right now I'm just taping up my extra pieces here. So now I know roughly the area that this is going to be in. So I've drilled my hole underneath and I'm going to push a nut cert into the hole. What you want to do after you push in your nut cert is to push the cardboard up into position and feel through the cardboard and see if you can feel that nut cert. And take a drill bit or some sharp, sharp object and drill your hole. Grab a fastener and just kind of mock it up in position. Now what that'll do is when you get all done with this piece, you'll take it out and you'll put it on your high density poly polyethylene sheet and you'll cut it all out and all your holes will already be in position. If you actually tried to get all your holes with that high density polyethylene sheet up here, you can't feel through it. So if you tried to feel through the sheet, it just wouldn't happen, but it works really good with this pizza box. So I'm sitting here working on this thing and I realized that I'm down underneath the car here and it's on a chassis rotisserie. I could actually have the thing, you know, flipped up and I could be standing up working on it. Kind of reminded me I went to work for this shop one time about, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. And uh, we'd roll a car in and I'm laying on the ground underneath the car on jack stands and my boss walks in and he says, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, I'm working on the car. He's like, we have a lift. Yeah, it never really occurs to you. You're so used to, you know, going ghetto style. And... So it looks like that's my last hole. And it's pretty much mounted underneath here. So I'll give you guys a look on what it looks like. So there it is in all of its beauty. My mock-up underbody cladding here. So now all I have to do is pull it off and cut it out of high density polyethylene. One of the things I can't emphasize enough is the importance of keeping a clean work area. Yeah. Where the freak is that Alan is? Uh, so here's my cardboard mock-up of my inner wheel well. So you can see it's, you know, three, three feet long. It's pretty complex. To try and get that done right the first time in high density polyethylene, it would have just been a real pain in the butt. This is made out of multiple pieces. I could mess up and tape in another piece. It just makes it so much easier. And you get to use up all of the old pizza boxes that, you know, they never fit in the trash can. So they're a pain in the butt. So now you have a real reason to keep those pizza boxes around. So you can see I've rolled out the high density polyethylene sheet here and I've taped on my template. 
So now all I've got to do is trace it out and mark the holes. One of the things you want to remember, it's all right to go ahead and not tape it down if you're tracing it out. But if you're going to mark your holes, make sure you tape your template down to your high density polyethylene. Because if it moves just a fraction, you know, maybe half an inch, you know, it'll really screw you up in the end. So go ahead and tape it right down. So now I'm going to go ahead and drill all my holes and cut it out. We'll see how it comes out. All right, now this is all cut out, cleaned up the edges. By the way, you cut this thing out with a jigsaw and the edges are gonna be all burred. So all you do is you take a razor blade and scrape the edges with the flat edge of the razor blade and it takes all those burrs off and thing cleans up real nice. So let's see if she fits now. So you see I mocked up the plastic here, got it all fit on. You'll notice that I left a little bit of material hanging out over here. What I did that for is when I get done with all my body work and fitting my flares and all that, I want to leave a little bit of material to work with. So I'll just take my Sharpie, trace along it when all is said and done, and trim it up then. That way I know it's going to fit. I'll show you guys a shot of the inside here. So there's a shot of the finished product all mounted in there nicely. The only problem is, I have three more to go.